Welcome to the John and Heidi Show podcast. John and Heidi. Here's John and Heidi. Today is a special day, Heidi. Do you know what today is? What is today, John? I thought you'd never ask. It is Monday. It is the fifth day of July. Good day for National Apple Turnover Day. Uh, I I think I like apple turnover. I, I like apple pies. So I think I like apple. They're good. Turnover. They're darn good. Uh, National Graham Cracker Day. National Workaholics Day for those of you working today. National Bikini Day, for those of you working in bikinis today. And National Hawaii Day, for those of you working in bikinis in Hawaii. See, there's a lot of stuff that goes together there. Um, And in addition to that, it's also a Movie Star Monday. My guest today is Kevin Bigley. He's been in several movies, like The Dilemma. Uh, He's been in a movie called Stretch, another one called The Angry Birds Movie, Scream Queens. And he's in a project that I really like. This project is called Upload. It's on Amazon. I've really enjoyed that. He's got a new movie out. We're going to talk to him about that. It's called Rollers. Addiction. It's not a pretty thing. Addiction can lead to many problems in your life. Addiction can drive away those who love you the most. And addiction can lead to the loss of jobs, relationships, and even your life. Don't let addiction tear your life apart anymore. Get the help you need to defeat addiction and put the pieces back together in your life. Learn more at timeforrehab.com. They want to help. Timeforrehab.com. That's timeforrehab.com. Now, surveys and studies and such brought to you by bettercreditcards.com. A recent poll conducted in San Francisco found that 70% of San Franciscans that responded believe the quality of life in the city has declined. Really? (laughs) These respondents pointed to crime and homelessness as their top concerns. Who did this study? I don't... Okay, moving on. According to a different new study, the huge socioeconomic impacts of the pandemic will likely cause a severe production crisis in the coffee industry. Now, I asked Heidi before reading this story, how is our coffee supply? And she said, we're pretty good. And I said, that's good because there could be a run on coffee because there's a severe production crisis in coffee and it all it's fr- like bottled up from the last year. So anyway, I'm not trying to worry anybody, but if you like coffee, I mean, you might want to stock up now. I'm just saying surveys and studies and such brought to you by bettercreditcards.com. Do you have a credit card? We'd like to help you get a better credit card. If you don't have any credit cards, we'd like to help you too. At bettercreditcards.com, we have credit cards that offer different things for different people. Some cards offer points. Some cards are designed to help you build your credit. Bettercreditcards.com wants to help you get a better credit card, no matter what you're looking for. See if we can help you find a better credit card at bettercreditcards.com. That's bettercreditcards.com. This is your Brain on Drugs, brought to you by TimeForRehab.com. Every day we share stories here about people who do silly things under the influence, but addiction is no laughing matter. If you or somebody you know needs help, that is exactly what they do at TimeForRehab.com. Southern Charm star Madison LaCroix said she's, quote, embarrassed, end quote, after getting a getting drunk and then going live on Instagram and then flashing her breastuses ah yeah so anyway there's after that story being read there's people going wait wait madison lacroix on instagram what the what uh i don't know if it's still on there probably been removed but yeah that's the thing you you don't want to drink and then get on technology because uh that's probably a bad plan if you're not thinking clearly and you're going on there and saying things and doing things that you probably wouldn't be proud of later so maybe just put that stuff away Or don't drink so much. There's another good plan. (laughs) I mean, that's a solid one. That is what happens when your brain is on drugs. Now, big screen, little screen, brought to you by ChannelSurferTV.com. I bet our son is going to be excited about this. Soprano fans continue to express their excitement after the Many Saints of Newark trailer was finally released. Do you know what this is? I have no idea what this is. The Many Saints of Newark is a prequel movie that's going to tell you the story of a young Tony Soprano. Oh. So there were things that you learned about watching Sopranos, uh, that you know things that were part of his childhood, apparently, that they decided, hey, let's take all of that and let's make like fill the rest of it in and make a movie about it. Right. 
okay. which is, you know, one more sign that we're literally running out of ideas for movies. <laughs> I think it's going to be a good idea. I think it really would be good. Um, Courtney Love, who is actually a singer, but she's also in movies. Sure. Um, she is accusing Olivia Rodrigo of copying the cover from her 1940, I'm sorry, 1994 album. I was say 1940. No, 1994 album, Live Through This. She's going, ah, she stole my cover. So there you go. Thanks for listening to The John and Heidi Show. At weirdgiftoftheday.com, we help you get ready for all the fun holidays throughout the year with fun, silly, and just plain weird gift ideas for your friends. If you have a friend who has a bizarre sense of humor, we've got a gift for them. Weirdgiftoftheday.com posts a link to something that will make you smile each and every day. Whether you buy these weird gifts or not, it's worth checking out just for a smile. Weirdgiftoftheday.com. That's weirdgiftoftheday.com. Now your scoop of the day. It comes your way, courtesy of purecanna.com, promo code radio. A husband and wife in Houston chase down an alleged peeping Tom lurking outside their 10-year-old daughter's bedroom window and shot him. I don't blame him. I saw this online, actually. So if you're chasing somebody down, can you shoot them? I don't think that's how it works. I'm pretty sure that's not how it works. Like, if you chase them away, that's one thing. If you caught them peeping and they're hurting somebody, again, I don't know what the rules are, but it's all over the news and people are, some are, some are on Heidi's side over there, <laughs> and there's others that are going, I don't know if that's right. A, a woman in California has won the right to keep her home decorated like the home from the Flintstones cartoon. <laughs> so <laughs> I remember what that home looked like. It would it would not take much. It was a very minimalistic. It was uh, decor. my favorite thing was like if if Fred was running through the house, you'd see the same picture like nineteen times because apparently he ran in circles or they had a really long house. They just kept having run past the same window and the same thing. So Do you is that? is uh, the shower run the same way? Wasn't that some sort it's of a, a giant animal outside a, of there? Yeah, I believe they've window. got a they've got a mammoth outside spraying yeah. hot water through the window. Yeah. If I remember correctly, I, I'm not sure. Um, dozens of baby squids from Hawaii have been sent to outer space. What? University of Hawaii researcher Jamie Foster is studying how space flight affects the squids, hoping to bolster human health during long space missions. The squid will report back. Oh, I'm sorry. Will reportedly come back and say they're going to report back like, yes, I feel great. I'm uh, going to come back to Earth this month sometime. And the first cruise ship to board U.S. passengers... At a U.S. hub in 15 months, finally set sail from South Florida last weekend. Celebrity Cruise Lines say 95% of the passengers had been vaccinated. And the National Space Agency of China has released videos from a rover they sent to Mars. So they've got a rover on Mars, and uh, there's other countries that have rovers on Mars. We're going to have, like, Mars rover wars or something. I'm not sure. Get photos of each other waving. That is your scoop of the day. It comes your way, courtesy of PureCanna.com, promo code radio. Early to bed, early to rise, makes you healthy, wealthy, and wise. This is a great quote from Benjamin Franklin. At InsuranceChicken.com, we know a thing or two about great quotes. We help people get great insurance quotes every day. It's super simple and free to find out if we can make you healthy, wealthy, and wise. Okay, I can't guarantee that. But I can assure you we'd love to help at insurancechicken.com. We want to help you pack out great deals on insurance. That's insurancechicken.com. Thanks for listening to the John and Heidi Show on a Movie Star Monday. Kevin Bigley is our guest today. Been in several movies. Also, Kevin, got to tell you, I love Upload on Amazon. That's cool. And you got a new movie coming out now. You're a busy dude. Yeah, a lot of stuff going on, which uh, I'm excited about. But yeah, Rollers is a really fun little movie and... A nice little ride. So the movie Rollers is out right now. I shared the trailer on social media, but for people that maybe haven't seen that, tell us, what is Rollers about? Oh, uh, first off, thanks for sharing it on your social media. Um, secondly, uh, yeah, it's about uh, it's about this guy named Rufus who uh, owns a music venue that's kind of been passed down in his family, and uh, he has kind of self-destructive tendencies. And just kind of like any music venue, they've bunched up some uh, peculiar people in its time. Uh, I play one of them, his best friend, kind of lives with him in, in, in the venue. This gift of a venue has somewhat become a burden as he, he debates whether or not he should carry on his parents' lineage and keep the venue alive 
or as times have gotten tough, should he kind of let it go and move on with his life? I think this is a very relatable movie. Now, we might not all own music venues, but everybody knows of a business somewhere that they really like, but they know that it's struggling. I think it's only relatable if you own a music venue, and that's the only reason you should watch. No, I agree, John. I agree. I agree, John, completely. Yeah, I think that, especially now, after, like, the, which is funny because we have shot this in 2019, and, you know, movies just take a little bit, but then no one could have uh, seen what was coming with the pandemic stuff, and I think a lot of people have kind of questioned what they should be doing with their lives after this, and, and where they should be living, and now is the time to kind of choose a, an alternate path. And you kind of start your life, um, you know, in your teens and 20s, thinking that what you're going to do is going to define you. But uh, as you kind of get a little bit older, you start to realize that you can switch things up. You know, I I mean, uh, not to go off on a tangent, but my my dad was a construction worker for a long time and and, uh, worked in plaster and whatnot. And then all of a sudden, you know, in his early mid-30s, became a prison guard and then kind of went on a completely different path. I was a retired cop. So it's like... Yeah, I think just a lot of people just begin to question what defines them and what their path is, and uh, that's what this movie's about. That is awesome. Now, before I let you go, i got to make sure I mention Upload. I've watched that on Amazon. Absolutely love it. Very, very cool. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, uh, we came out uh, weirdly like two months after everything was shutting down throughout the country, um, which was, uh, you know, I mean, we had a captive audience, but I was just really happy that people could the show because it is a fun and easy watch and uh and it has its dark moments and big themes but for the most part it's just it's just a lot of fun and uh yeah so we've been out for about a year now and season two is in the can so we nice. wrapped uh, in april so. so when will we get to see season two is it coming soon to me you know i hope so it's coming directly <laughs> to john uh <laughs> really soon i no, i hope by the end of the year or beginning of next or sometime next year we have a bunch of editors, more editors than we had last season, and they're really they're they're uh, they're foot on the gas. So uh, I, I cause they really want to capitalize and, and get the show to everybody, and and they love to the reaction that we got, and I got all sorts of like messages from Brazil and France and Japan, and then a bunch of of course from the states. So it, it was a really cool, heartwarming reaction. I was really happy that people watched it, so they really want to get. And for people that haven't seen this, it's based in the future, but there's many different times I've been watching, and I'm like, wow, that doesn't seem like it's too far-fetched now no i know that's what's so funny a lot of those jokes uh greg daniels uh, who created the office and parks and rec is our showrunner you know and uh and greg uh, he, he wrote some stuff in the pilot that like that was originally written the pilot in 2017 but a lot of that stuff has kind of come true you know um or, or at least almost did like we had a joke about vape lung, which was hilarious to us, and then we shot it, and then between when we shot it and when the show came out, vape lung became a thing. We were like, oh, no. And then there's just, like, self-driving car crashes and yeah. these uh, electric bikes and all these things that are happening. You know, because our show takes place in the 2030s, you know, he's uh, we're predicting a lot of this stuff, or just kind of following the natural trend of progression that there seems to be. One of them is that my character... Uh, lost his leg in a war with Iran. And when that almost happened, I sent Greg an email being like, please change this in the script. <laughs> we can, you are writing the future. <laughs> yeah, you need to stop this. Well, Kevin, thank you so much for taking the time to chat. Thank you so much for having me, John. I enjoyed it. Absolutely. Again, Kevin Bigley, the new movie, it's out now. It's called Rollers. I've got a link to it in the show notes for today at johnandheidyshow.com. Addiction. It's not a pretty thing. Addiction can lead to many problems in your life. Addiction can drive away those who love you the most. And addiction can lead to the loss of jobs, relationships, and even your life. Don't let addiction tear your life apart anymore. Get the help you need to defeat addiction and put the pieces back together in your life. Learn more at timeforrehab.com. They want to help. Timeforrehab.com. That's timeforrehab.com. Fun fact for you, Heidi. What is that, John? Sharks can live for five centuries. Yeah. Greenland sharks are known to be some of the oldest living animals on our planet. It says here, researchers did carbon dating on a Greenland shark that was caught in 2014, and they think the shark is 392 years old. Further testing revealed that our fishy friends could live up to 500 years old. That would mean our geriatric shark friends would have been alive 
when Leonardo da Vinci was painting the Mona Lisa. So that's kind of cool. I so. never had any doubt that sharks have been around for... Well, they've been around, but like the same sharks are still alive is what they're saying. I just, I don't know. Check their would, driver's yeah, license. No, 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 no. <laughs> All right, I knew they cut them in half and count the rings. No, they they... did carbon dating, Heidi. Whatever. Were you even listening to the story? I was listening to you. That is all made up. (laughs) It's ridiculous. Didn't make any of it up. It's today's fun fact. Now you know. Thanks for listening to the John and Heidi Show. Do you have a credit card? We'd like to help you get a better credit card. If you don't have any credit cards, we'd like to help you too. At BetterCreditCards.com, we have credit cards that offer different things for different people. Some cards offer points. Some cards are designed to help you build. your credit. BetterCreditCards.com wants to help you get a better credit card, no matter what you're looking for. See if we can help you find a better credit card at BetterCreditCards.com. That's BetterCreditCards.com. Now, RadioTravelGroup.com presents a news headline from somewhere in this world. This is a very disturbing story. The United Kingdom, their youngest mother ever to give birth, just gave birth. How old do you think this youngest mother is? 10. 11 years old. Oh. Wow, you were thinking even younger. I was thinking that that seemed very, very young. When I was 10 and 11 years old, I wasn't even thinking about that kind of stuff. So I apparently am a late bloomer. But an 11-year-old girl just became the youngest mother to give birth in the UK. That is not a title I would want to try to beat. Oh, gosh, just no. Seemed, I don't know how old the dad is, but all of this seems very, very wrong to me. I've got a link to the story. It's in the show notes for today at johnandheidyshow.com. At weirdgiftoftheday.com, we help you get ready for all the fun holidays throughout the year with fun, silly, and just plain weird gift ideas for your friends. If you have a friend who has a bizarre sense of humor, we've got a gift for them. Weirdgiftoftheday.com posts a link to something that will make you smile each and every day. Whether you buy these weird gifts or not, it's worth checking out just for a smile. Weirdgiftoftheday.com. That's weirdgiftoftheday.com. Now some weird news brought to you by weirdgiftoftheday.com. A man safely surrendered to police after climbing about 45 feet up into a tree. (laughs) They had a standoff that lasted 13 hours. This happens. It does. Officers were called at 1.35 in the morning. Reports of a vehicle crashed into the railroad tracks. Vehicle was found disabled on the tracks, abandoned. Looking for the driver, they heard a man screaming. 40-year-old Columbus resident was uh, apparently the driver who then climbed onto a house, then got up into a pine tree, stayed in the tree, ignoring officers. Other officers called to the area. The FBI even showed up to try to coax the man down. Efforts to talk to the man were complicated by the size and location of the tree. It was near power lines. A fire truck with a ladder bucket was brought in to help communicate. The power was cut to several rev- residences nearby because they were concerned about you know, the, the power lines. About 4 p.m. is when they finally got him out of this tree. He was arrested without incident, except for the entire incident that we just talked about. Charged with panic, aggravated, I'm sorry, inducing panic, aggravated trespassing, arson, and obstructing official business. All misdemeanors. And all very weird. It's today's Weird News. John and Heidi. Now your moment of duh. Brought to you by BetterResultsAdvertising.com. In an unprovoked attack at a 7-Eleven, a customer was injured when a fellow customer threw a glass jar of Tostitos salsa at him. He threw the salsa so hard it actually broke the victim's back. Oh, my yeah. gosh. According to the court filings, 31-year-old Latrell Trellis was arrested on felony battery charges for striking a victim with a 15.5-ounce jar of salsa. The six foot two, 300-pound man oh my gosh. locked up. In lieu of bond here. Uh, in I addition, would hope so. Not sure what was going on here, but in addition, he's facing a theft rap for stealing a Choco Taco ice cream bar. What? Investigators say the man struck the other man with a Tostito jar. Oh, my He got gosh. a laceration, visible swelling. Witnesses noted they saw the attack. It was recorded on surveillance as well. So he's got convictions of theft and all kinds of other stuff going on. It is such a bizarre story. That is why it is today's Moment of Da. Early to bed, early to rise, makes you healthy, wealthy, and wise. 
This is a great quote from Benjamin Franklin. At insurancechicken.com, we know a thing or two about great quotes. We help people get great insurance quotes every day. It's super simple and free to find out if we can make you healthy, wealthy, and wise. Okay, I can't guarantee that. But I can assure you we'd love to help at insurancechicken.com. We want to help you pack out great deals on insurance. That's insurancechicken.com. Time now for Is It a Golf Course or Is It a Rehab Center? Brought to you by timeforrehab.com. So far, Heidi has been on a roll. We are five Uh, days into a new month, and she's not been wrong at all. And you actually did really good the end of June as well. She hasn't been wrong in a while. Let's see if we can shake her loose today. All right, let's see. John versus Heidi. Dun, dun, dun. John versus... You don't ever do this at all. No, no. I'm saying I'm going to see if I can stump you today. I dug through <laughs> to see if I could find one. Okay. I don't know if it will, though. Uh, here we go. Uh, uh, this, is, by the way, is how we play. Is it a golf course or is it a rehab center? Brought to you by time for rehabcom Emerald Valley, Cresswell, Oregon. Is it a golf oh, course or is it a man. rehab center? Yeah. See, I thought, oh, this would yeah. be tougher. Emerald Valley. I'm going to say it's a golf course. And the answer is, shh, 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 everybody? It's a golf course. (laughs) Good job. Nice. How are you doing this? You're cheating somehow. (laughs) You you just ain't this good. I know. I know I haven't (laughs) been. looking through a list over there. (laughs) Somebody gave her an app. Thanks for listening to the John and Heidi Show. That's how we play. Is it a golf course or is it a rehab center? Brought to you by timeforrehab.com. This portion of the John and Heidi Show is brought to you by the John and Heidi Show. That sounds kind of funny, but it's true. Go to your local radio station and ask them to start carrying the John and Heidi Show. Here's the best part. They can carry the show for free. They play a couple commercials, but it doesn't cost them anything every month. So if you know a radio station that could use a little bit of help, send them our way. Send them to johnandheidyshow.com. Again, johnandheidyshow.com. We would love to do a radio program in your community. Then you could listen to the podcast and listen to us on the radio. John and Heidi. We always like to wrap things up around here with good news, and I think this is good news. It comes your way courtesy of BetterCreditCards.com. I love this story. It's a story of a guardian angel that comes full circle. In 1986, charter boat captain Mark Pisano and Paul Strasser came across a capsized boat off the California coast. There was a survivor. Desiree Rodriguez, who bobbed in the water for about 20 hours. 20 hours. She was nine at the time. Oh, my gosh. 35 years later, the three were reunited and recently participated in a memorial ceremony to bring closure to the family that she lost. Oh, my gosh. So she was nine, and the rest of the family back in 1986 didn't make it. She made it. <clears throat> after bobbing in the water, swimming for 20 hours. I can't imagine how terrified she must have been. Absolutely. So I think this is a how really cool, horrible, really cool story that they were able to get together again and do a nice memorial service. I don't know why it took this long, but I'm glad that it happened. It's really, really cool that it happened. I've got a link to the story, and then uh, it was on uh, CBS Sunday morning, so there's a video uh, from from that as well. And I want to say, if you come across good news somewhere on the internet, I love it if you share that with us, because then we can share that with everybody else as well. And you can either send it to me through our Facebook page, facebook.com slash John and Heidi Show, or you can submit it right through our website. Uh, there's a little place on the bottom of the page where you can email and all of that stuff, John and and HeidiShow.com is where you'll find that. Time to say goodbye, Heidi. Goodbye, Heidi. Goodbye, everybody. Have a great day. Thank you for listening to the John and Heidi Show on a Monday.